Kayla, and welcome to the continuation of this self-paced do it at any time training related to transitioning to open phone 11 from previous versions okay so as usual we invite you to follow us in, in youtube or join our channel to help you help us create more content uh, and also if you want to keep in touch here you have our coordinates okay so feel free to send me an email or you can write any comment now in the video section for for comments so let's move to our first tutorial okay if it's open from 11 so we're working in this transition okay it shouldn't be that 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 painful but there are some things that you should be aware i also remind you that please visit these links to get familiar you know, with these modifications in open phone there are many things happening but the most important thing is the modular solver solvers so we're going to work in the tutorial in our first tutorial tutorial one the driven cavity also in the video description you will have the link to download the, this case or probably if you can if you want to take the challenge you can take any tutorial from open from 10 or 9 and modify or update you will see that it's not that difficult so basically if you are not aware of you haven't seen this case i'm quite sure yeah you have seen this case this is a very simple case okay so we have this domain with velocity here and this is going to in induce a rotation here so we're going to work in compressible flow so remember we have modular solver so this stuff icophone and so on disappears everything in phone runs so now we need to create this new muscle memory okay so our classical result okay we sample here so not only running the solver because there is also some differences in how you do the sampling okay remember that you have that function object so we're going to do the sampling okay and then to make things a little bit more complicated or more fun eh, we're going to work also with the non-orthogonal mesh just to show you that the numerics okay the foundation it exactly it is exactly the same what is changing here it is this modular solver so it is not going to be very painful however if you are doing a lot of parametrization probably you will need to do those scripts and add a keyword here and there that I hopefully in this case i will show probably 90 percent of everything and then we're going to address two or three more tutorials to see the rest of these modifications okay so this is what we're going to to do so now let's get our hands Dirty. So here I already have the case, okay, so we have the orthogonal and, and that non-orthogonal mesh. So I'm going to go to the orthogonal mesh, okay, so in the video description you have the link to download the case. But just to point out, we have, if you have followed any of our previous uh, trainings and videos, you would really, you probably, you know that we use this, <clears throat> this structure. And here we have the automatic script. So if you open any of this script, it's going to run all the commands, okay? I don't like to use the same uh, parameterization used in OpenFone. It's a little bit complicated. I like to, to be more straightforward. Or it's, it's easier now to remember and to understand. So basically, as you see, okay, probably this command is repeated there. I can erase it. So block mesh, check mesh remains the same. Now here, Icophone, piece of phone, people, for everything disappeared. Now it's just a single command, executable application, phone run, and all the physics it is in modular classes that we need to call in a specific dictionary that we're going to see. And then for post processing, I put here the comments. So previously it was post process and you open this one and then it will do the sampling according to the instruction. Now, Post process disappeared. It is called foam post process. So that's all. I have to say that at this point, if you remember this and this were like 60% done, then the other 30% will be some specific modifications and the other 10% will be more advanced stuff. But this is pretty much it. So you will see that the transition will be quite easy. So to run in parallel, also we have this script here. So pretty much the same stuff, nothing changed. Okay, okay, this is repeated again there. Let me raise it. So decompose part and to run in parallel like this. If you want to run phone post process, parallel, same stuff. Okay, nothing changed. These are the new commands, dictionaries are the same. So let's now dissect the case directly. So if we go into serial, remember initial condition, boundary conditions, nothing changed. Okay, so as you can see a new file here with the OF10, Okay, later we're going to see, uh, to see there are no modifications. Okay, no modifications when it comes to initial boundary conditions. Okay, so transition 
your case transition and your case for open from 10 to 11 should be a copy and paste. Then in constant, nothing changed. Probably you are not aware of this. Pro, uh, previously, this was physical, the physical properties, no transport properties and thermophysical properties that disappeared. Everything was consolidated in this single five physical properties. This is not from, from open from 11. This is something that was done already in open from 10. Okay. So I hope you are familiar. So if you open this file, you have it here. So also just to point out that previous open from nine, it was called transport model Newtonian. Okay, now it is viscosity model constant that is equivalent to that, to this. Okay, and then you define here your viscosity. So this is not open from 11. This is started at open from 10. So hopefully you're, you're already familiar with this. So here there is, there is no big modification. And now I move these are extra files. Don't look at there. And you go into system. And now we have block mesh design. They compose part the same, but look at that. You have control D and control D OF10. When you see this after the name means that these files are the ones that have been modified. So these are the only three files as you see that have been modified. So let's open. So first I will open these two. Okay. Control D. So OF10 is the previous one. Let me close here. Okay. So pretty much. They are very similar, okay, of OF10 and control D. The big modification here, okay, is pretty much the same, okay. The only thing that you need to add if you have preview file is this two, is this keyword. Now application is phone run, okay, so probably in pre you realize that you have it in previous versions like this, and it was something pretty much uh, in, uh, nobody pay, pay attention to, to, to that, so you could, you could put there whatever. Okay, but now it's important. Okay, application form run, and now you have this new keyword solver. This is the class. Okay, so let me go back here and just to stress that that now this modularity is dividing everything in classes. All the solvers okay, are written as a classes. So you don't have anymore the single application pimple phone, piece of phone, or raw pimple phone, or whatever. Okay, so you need to know. Here, you need to know your solvers, what you are doing to put the right class. Okay, so in this case, we're going to work with incompressible fluid. So see that this supersedes this one. Okay, you have in the manual also all the solvers, so get familiar with that. So incompressible fluid and the rest is pretty much the same, unchanged, okay? Now, here in function objects, just to point out something about this, this particular one. So this is kind of, let's say a trademark of, of hours. So uh, we always like to put here the minimum compute, always minimum and maximum when running the simulations. And it doesn't matter the, the, the software, uh, I use a lot of CFX flow and I also put all this stuff there. So here there is a modification that select all, I re, if I will, okay, let me go here, control OF, control D OF 10 and see that previously it was called region type all. Now is select all. So when it comes to function object, it's not anymore region type. Now you have the keyboard select and you get access to region, face regions and regions, whatever. This is applied to all function objects. Okay. So you have that, that new modification. This is specific to open phone 11, open phone 11. Okay. So you can here identify the modifications as you see pretty, pretty, pretty straightforward. So now let's move to the, to the next one. So we have F, F skins. Okay. Okay. F skin, no modification, exactly the same. I'm not going to open. We know the pneumatics, but it's happening. Nothing changed. Okay. Probably besides the, the, the header that I didn't update it will be the 11 there. Nothing changed. Okay. So now we move to the next file. So it's FB solution. Okay. And here there is a modification. Let me open both files. Okay. So big modification here. It is that. As you recall here, you have pimple and then you have piso. I always criticize that piece of stuff because with pimple is you put in outer correctors. I don't have it here, but as you put in outer correctors to one is equivalent to piso. Okay. But now in, in open phone 11, that keyword disappeared. Piso doesn't, ex this doesn't exist anymore. Okay. Every, all the time is pimple. Okay. So you sim they simplify that. Okay. Nothing changed. So it's exactly. The same. So here now, okay, it's all the time pimple, 
and all these controls they work exactly in the same time in the same way so just also let me let me add the, that keyboard that is missing there the outer correctors so I'm doing since no oh without a script so I made mistakes okay now so since that I forget so let me put it here so it's this keyboard okay so in previous versions you put this one to one it is equivalent to running in piece of mode so probably as you recall you start to run open from 10 and you put to one and it will see one outer you will write in in the terminal one outer correction equivalent to piece of mode so that piece of mode disappeared and i criticized a lot that one because it was equivalent it was redundant so this is a good improvement okay and I'm quite sure that it's going to create less confusion between piece of people. It's pretty much the same stuff. Okay, so that is the only modification here. Also, as all here, all the times people remember that you have to define also you final and whatever final here for this one. Okay, but this was also something standard from previous version. So now we we have the other modification, and now let's do the other. Let's take a look at the other file that has been modified. Okay or data is sampled it okay this is the one that does the sampling okay and this is very straightforward modification so the modification now is that you need to add the library here so see that in open fontaine no need to to call the library now you need to put here the library lit sampling okay so as you input this one it will complain so that is the other modification but the keywords all this stuff Luckily, remain the same. Okay, so you need to update all the files. Okay, so that's all. These are the modifications, as I, as I say here, where pretty much sixty percent of this transition were almost done. To run the case, remember it's phone run. Okay, for the solver, but all the other single executables pretty much remain the same. So I will go. I will go and run first in serial and then in parallel. So. Here you have all the commands and let me open a terminal here. So let me load OF11. By the way, also we updated the virtual machine so you can download the latest one using OpenSUSE 15.4. We are still working the latest OpenSUSE 15.5 because we have some problems compiling part of it, but everything compiles perfectly. And also we're working on updating the Windows subsisting Linux. Okay, so hopefully in next days we're going to have that that one available as well so to run the commands are first the mesh then always check the mesh quality okay so see that pretty much this stuff remain the same but now to run pimple phone this stuff doesn't exist anymore okay so there it will run okay because it still have that back compatibility and so on but you should run now Okay, for in tutorials using okay, pimple phone. Okay, you have it there, but it is not supposed to run like this. So this is the way how you should run. Okay, and still you have that script now because it's all giving that back compatibility to make the transition easier, but. Try to forget all this stuff, the pimple ecophone, all that stuff, and let's use the new syntax, okay? So you can go phone run solver, and it will call the specific solver, but remember, also in control did we already specified that solver or, or that class, so we don't need to use it. So to run, okay, see that you already have it there. You just need to type phone run, okay? Okay, forgot the mesh. The errors are exactly the same and see that you are running. Nothing new. Okay, the case is running perfectly. Okay. And also the pipelining, no, I like to save also the log file. It works in the same way. So now I will call it solver and perfectly. So all the keywords you can stop the simulation when running and so on. Okay, the only thing is that applications disappear we have a single application phone run and then the class you call it in control d or you can put it in line on in line you now with the in the in the common line interface and then to do the sampling previously was like this now it's like this phone post process okay nothing change let me copy there paste sampling done 
and now I can run new plot paste and there you go a perfect solution okay easy piece lemon squeeze so now to run in seed in parallel it is exactly the same so here we run this script I'm not going to do it manually but it's pretty much exactly the same okay but look at that now previously it was being all this stuff that you put in you put the, the names you sold the pimple phone whatever okay now it's everything phone run okay so it's just a single keyword that you need to remember but you need to get used to all the classes the same will be for phone post process so let's run in parallel okay so HA so these are my classical scripts to do everything automatically they compose and that's it okay I want to point out also that the uh this decompose part i think in the next release is going to be substituted by redistribute part that is going to do everything okay but you're going you're going i guess as, as usual they give back compatibility but so far yeah it's still the compose part but they're working on that tool to to have one more genre so it's not a big big change so we're running in parallel one thing that as you will realize that is slower than in serial remember that you always reach an escapability limit so this is a small mesh so in this case with this small mesh the interprocessor communication is dominating okay so be careful about that not necessarily putting more processors where it will, will translate in scalability okay so if you make a larger mesh you will see that yes yeah, it's, it's faster so it's running nothing changed okay so let's finish for for, for this so it will do the sampling everything and plot the results so easy peasy lemon squeezy all the output it is exactly the same that's quite cool and there you go you have your perfect solution so now you might be wondering what about part of you that is tough it is exactly the same so if I run Padaphone and I think running in parallel I will put the built-in auction okay so nothing changed it's pretty much exactly Okay, the same as previously. The compose, apply. Okay, and there you go. You have your solution. So I'm not going to address anything about part of you because it is 100% the same. Okay, so this was this case. So I hope you have the first feeling how to transition. Okay, and I invite you again, just get familiar with this. So if you are running with a single solver, just identify that. No, if you used to run just incompressible stuff and you were relying on pimple phone, you know that now everything will be incompressible flow. In my case, okay, my application changed from day to day and today I'm running compressible, then compressible, then multi-phase. I need to get used for with with everything. But for those that use commercial sol sol software, pretty much this is the same take in commercial software okay commercial software you have a single executable and then you have all the models classes that you can enable using a nice GUI here you didn't have that nice GUI okay so that is the the, the take that is the the road that the developers are taking okay so now let's make things a little bit more complicated just to show you that the numerics the foundation remains the same okay the skills whatever you learn in open phone 9 10 is perfectly transferable to this new version the only thing that you need to get used is just molar classes okay so let's move to the orthogonal mesh just to show you that you are going to have the same crash the same divergence and so on and the solution will be pretty much the same so i really like this case okay so let me move to that one so the curation mesh okay and let me generate the mesh just to show you okay it's a from mesh and look at that, I generated the mesh after running check mesh, I get this message. So the orthogonality is marginal, it's there, okay? It's not something that critical, but always remember to visualize your mesh, okay? Because something that OpenFun is telling you that, okay, this might be okay, but when you visualize, you can you will realize immediately that by no means by no metrics and those specific metrics that you see with check mesh this is a good mesh okay you have all kind of problems okay interlace here okay so you have large expansion ratios uh north tonality excuseness misaligned flows and so on okay so, but by no means this is a good mesh so if i try to run here okay and uh, just to point out that 
is exact as we did previously, but in this case, now you, I don't put the files, the dot of 10, okay? Assuming that you already understood that concept. So here we go straight to the rabbit hole, okay? No more of those files. If I run here, if I put here for and run, it's going to crash immediately just because all those neuronal cells and so on. So the solution here is that you need to, okay, work in your pneumatics. So I know I'm not going to details. This is part of the advanced training. So as you go to our website, you, you have there all the handouts and <clears throat> and you can just see what, what, what is happening. So basically I know that I need to enable here okay the specific correction to deal with that so i need to put because orthogonal means you now that it is for perfect meshes by no means this is a perfect mesh so i just enable that correction for no orthogonality or so or orthogonality depends how you want to see it and also i see i know that i need to increase this corrector so let me go here two and two there and always a good idea to add a little bit on the relaxation so i put some on the relaxation there and let's run and there you go problem solved hopefully it's not going to crash it's cfl is well contained and there you go okay so the pneumatics if you follow <laughs> with us we train in defining me um, volume method and in specific notes let me go back here that here we have the self-paced do it anytime training open for nine and, and we address a lot about the pneumatics okay so you can go there so actually let me go and you have all the videos it's very long so we're going to prepare another training so this is the transition to open for 11 and then we're going to do a practical cfd with open for 11 but we're not going to do all these videos we're going to go right ahead to the practical application because all the knowledge everything is you can take it from these videos okay so we're going just to address a specific modifications but also questions okay so just feel free to ask questions in the comment sections or join our channel and interact in the forum okay and then we can address that in the videos but in those these two years that we were waiting for this new version we received a lot of questions so we have a long list that says that we would like to address and also modifications okay but all the numerics is addressed here so you can go now and chapter six and you have everything there so there you go we have a solution and then okay hopefully it will be a good solution run sampling and there you go in that bad mesh we got a good solution and we can also do things now even more extreme so this one let me copy everything because this is using a very large time step okay so as you look at here see that our cfl is something about 0.3 a small times and it took a time so just to show you pneumatics is the same but as you know what is happening okay let me phone run so i'm doing a lot of corrections you can see but see that now i arrive very fast at 50 seconds look at my cfl number 30 40 you now many people say that ah, with open phone it's not possible to get I can run, I have been able to run with CFL number to 200. You have to be very careful. You need to know what you're doing, but what is important that you need to resolve the physics. Okay, so in that case that I was doing 200, a CFL of 200, it means a large time step, but the physics I managed to capture. Okay, in this case also, a large time step managed to capture the physics with no problem, but be careful about that. So now we can visualize the solution and everything. It is okay there. Okay, I didn't do this. I didn't do the sampling. Let me do it right now. And what is interesting, as I mentioned, that since an a stupid case, a stupid case, but when you add no orthogonality, even if it's laminar case, it will diverge. Okay, the numerics you need to know how to work in the numerics. The numerics remains the same. And let me do here run sampling, and there you go. Everything perfect, even with large time steps it works exactly the same so yeah this was our introduction first tutorial as i say if you get this tutorial okay driven cavity pretty much we're half the way not half the way we're 60 percent there the other 30 percent are very specific since that later we're going to address okay 
So in the video description, you will have the link to download this case. So just get familiar and then I will see you in the next video. That will be an interesting one. Oh, I will go back to the cylinder. Probably, you know, I really like that cylinder case. So we're going to work on that in that case. So thanks and see you next time. And please join our channel just to help you help us create more content. Bye.